Hi there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm so excited to have you here with me today for Shop With Me Saturday. I wanted to show you the things that I've purchased in the past week, week and a half, somewhere in there. That way you can see if there's anything you like or things you don't like. And always, as I go through all of the items, first shop your closet. The first outfit I'm going to show you has a black pencil skirt, which is very in for spring of 2023. And most of us have a black pencil skirt in our closet. So shop there first. And before I get into showing you all the great purchases that I've made, I did want to show you my jewelry. And these are from Amazon. And I really like these because these are trending earrings. These are very lightweight. These are 40 millimeters. And I saw them on a much better website probably for like $150. But for a nice trend, I actually purchased these probably about six to eight months ago and they still look brand new. Also, I got this great little ring from Amazon, very inexpensive and I think it will be wonderful for summer. Okay, let's get into this. And one of the trends of spring 2023 is sheer and also black, amazingly enough. Black is big for spring and summer of 2023. And this is a little Calvin Klein shirt that I found at Dillard's and I think it was on sale for like $24. So if you're interested in it, you might go ahead and get there pretty quick. I normally wear an extra small, but in this shirt I wore a small because it does run a little bit small so I would size up. I'm 5'6 and about 118 pounds if you're curious about that. But I love the fact that it gives you a long lean line and that it has the sheer sleeves. I think that is very, very dressy and that would be great for an evening out or you could wear it with jeans. Okay, I had to close the blinds because it was giving me clear hair. It's still a little bit clear with that light right behind me, but I can't help that. But I did want to show you a couple of great accessories that I found. And one thing I have learned recently is you can have basic clothes, but if you up your game a little bit in terms of your accessories, you can really look very special. And one of these belts I absolutely love. Actually, all three of them I love. I'll show you two of them now. The first one has a little story behind it. And this is a coin chain belt. And these are super in for 2023. And basically, it just goes around here. I think it's got a little faux leather going through it. And then the gold chain belt. And I do have to tell you a little story. And that is, I think it was from Revolve. I'm not totally sure. But I saw it on another YouTuber, and I'll link her before, I love her channel, and she had purchased this, and it was like $150, and I went ahead and bit the bullet, and I did it, and I thought, this is ridiculous to pay $150 for a little chain belt. And so I looked on Amazon, and I found this one for like $12 or $13. I can't remember what it was, but very, very reasonable. And I love this with jeans, I love it with pants, I love it with a little pencil skirt, obviously. I think that is absolutely a beautiful little belt. And in addition to the chain belt, I found this very statement belt, and I believe this is Steve Madden, and I will link it below. It was very, very reasonable. I think it was on sale from Macy's. I'm not totally sure. But I love this belt because I wear a lot of black turtlenecks in the winter, and really all through the year, I wear a lot of black. And I always love a little waist-high belt to wear on your waist or your hips. Either one is really fine. And to give you a little bit of an accent there, to give you a little bit of a rich look, isn't that absolutely gorgeous? I really love this, and you really won't see yourself coming or going when you, when you go out somewhere. Most people don't have anything this bold on, but I think it is absolutely gorgeous and a great way to take a black t-shirt or a white t-shirt, something very plain, and dress it up and make it gorgeous. Okay, this next top is a sheer sleeve top again. It is DKNY and very on sale as far as I know. I'll link it below. But it has a wonderful little black cami that is built in underneath. And then it has this absolutely beautiful animal print. I am a sucker for animal print. And this is a little different because it's not the traditional brown. It's kind of a black and a gray and kind of a white color. But I think it is absolutely gorgeous. And again, this is great with this pencil skirt. But you could wear this with a great pair of black pants, black trousers, jeans. You could get a lot of use out of this. And this is very obviously sheer sleeves. And always keep these things because as you know, the sheer comes and goes and right now it is super in. Now, another big trend for spring 2023 is large florals. And quite honestly, I am not that much a large floral person, but I did like this one. And one of the color trends is violet. 
And so it does have that as well. And I think it goes very well with these Levi's wedgie jeans. And these are a size 26 regular. And I had needed some white jeans and I ordered several different pairs and I finally settled on these. I really like them. They look a little fashion forward. They're straight, but they're shorter. And so they really show your shoes off. And I think that's going to be perfect for summer. If you need a pair of white jeans, these are wonderful. And since they're Levi's, they are very reasonable in price. I can't see spending over $100 for a pair of jeans when you have great jeans like Levi's. Okay, I really like this next outfit a lot. I don't know that navy and white is a trend for this year, but it really never goes out of style. It's got that little bit of a nautical vibe, that little bit of a crispness and clean look that is so cooling and calming in the summer. And I have this Amazon sweater on, and this is a spring weight sweater, but you can wear it in the winter as well. And I have it in probably eight or nine different colors. Here are just the ones that I happen to, to bring up with me now. They still have the tags on. I decided not to show them to you in the video, but I really wanted more of these sweaters. I've had this sweater for maybe about the past year. Those are new. And the thing I love about this sweater is it is very form fitting. It really hugs you in all the right places and it is extremely good quality. I have washed these sweaters and I probably have eight or 10 of them. I wash them in the washer and then I hang them to dry and they come out looking absolutely beautiful. I love the little details that they have, the little buttons here. I don't know if you can see those, the little kind of brassy gold buttons. Absolutely love that. And again, I have it with the Levi's wedgie jeans and I really do love these jeans. I'm so happy to have a great pair of white jeans that works. Another trend for 2023 is lighter wash jeans. And those of you who have followed my channel know that I am the queen of dark wash jeans. This always felt way too casual for me. All of my life, I always went for the dark wash because I thought, oh, it makes you look more slender. And I thought it was a little more elegant looking, a little more upscale looking. But now I've really realized all through the winter, light wash jeans were in. And in the spring, they are coming on strong, just like they did all through the winter. And I really like them. And these are my absolute favorite pair of jeans. These are the 724 High Rise Straight, and they are high rise, and this is a very light wash, and I bought it in two other washes that aren't the dark wash, so I'm very happy. And in terms of shoes, I got these great mules at DSW. They're suede, and I just think they are casual and wonderful. I really love the look of boots, and of course you can't wear boots in the spring and summer, but if you have a mule on, you can kind of get the best of both worlds. You can enclose your foot, and I really have kind of an ugly foot, but you can also get a little bit of a heel and get a long lean look on your legs. And I have this with a t-shirt, which I showed last week, because you do need a basic tee in any kind of video or any kind of life, but this is the Uniglo tee, very beefy and wonderful. It's only $19. It may be sold out now. So there's another one I'll link below, the Everlane tee. It's a little bit more expensive, but it is fantastic. Just as good a quality as this one. The Uniglo and the Everlane tees really last wash after wash for more than one year. I would say two to three years. And also I was looking for a beautiful cognac belt to go with jeans and I found a great one. This is from Levi's and it's very inexpensive, but it has a beautiful little round gold buckle on it and another little gold bling here. Absolutely wonderful. And cognac is such a great neutral color. You can mix it with black, you can do whites, beiges, light blues, absolutely a great jeans belt. Now, next I thought I'd show you two different varieties of the wash. These are a little bit darker wash than the lighter wash I had on before, but again, they are the Levi's 724 straight jeans. And I have this one with this gorgeous beige Amazon top. Again, it has all of the little blingy buttons on it. I have all of my Amazon jewelry on it but I just think this is a wonderful outfit, very neutral looking. I like how the beige kind of contrasts with the gorgeous cognac mules there, the suede mules. This outfit to me just looks very soft and very comfortable. You could wear this pretty much anywhere, and the thing that you can't see out there is that it is soft as a baby's bottom. These jeans feel like velvet, and so does the sweater. Okay, I wanted to show you two more washes of these Levi's 724 High Rise Straights. Here is about the middle wash, or maybe this is the darker one of the three, but I absolutely love these. These fit like a glove, absolutely beautiful fit on these jeans. I have the little mules on from DSW, 
And I've paired it with kind of a fancy belt, but I think it really just gives it something a little special. That's that belt that I showed earlier. And again, I have the Amazon brass button sweater. There it is. I love this color and I think it goes very well with the cognac. And these are Vichy sunglasses. They sent these to me and they are fabulous sunglasses. They are a dupe of, I think it's the Gucci sunglasses and they're very well made. They're not plastic. They are very, very well made. And I've got a discount code below the video if you'd like to check them out. Okay, the last outfit is again with jeans and this is the Levi's Wedgie Straits. They were white before in the previous video, but these are in a light blue color and I'm not sure why they call them Wedgie Straits, but I really like them because of the shorter length. And I will say, obviously none of us are really going towards the skinnies anymore because they're kind of out. There are ways to kind of dress them up and make them look a little more current but I made kind of a mistake and that is that I am a petite person and in an earlier video I went to really baggy jeans and I think I can get away with those when I have a really baggy pair of jeans and then like a tight tank top. I think I can kind of get away with it but for the most part I think the baggy jeans trend is something that I'm probably not going to take part in that much because if you're petite or if you're a little bit overweight, a little bit hippie, you don't want to add on all that extra material and if you can get a long lean line, that's a really good thing. And straight leg jeans are really a nice compromise. They're not skinnies and they're not baggies and they do give you that long lean line. And again, I have that Amazon sweater again in a cognac color, love this color. I have the Levi's cognac belt and then on my feet, I have those DSW suede mules. And unfortunately, I think they're selling out fast. In fact, I wanted a black pair and they already sold out, unfortunately. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and this one is not spiritual, and it's not positive thinking, it's underwear. And basically, these are the underwear. I, I had like 20 pairs of these, I still do, there's the back. But I wore these for years, absolute years. They really do last, they come through the washer just beautifully. They have a little lace on them, I really like that. But I asked my husband, I said, honey, sometimes do you see that I have panty lines? And he's like, Beth, you have panty lines a lot. And basically I had one little pair of panties that I would use when I thought I didn't want panty lines and they had stick them on them and they were really uncomfortable and they were just kind of a wisp of air. They really didn't give you any feeling of security when you were wearing them. And so most of the time I went around with panty lines and ladies, we don't need to do that. And we really shouldn't need special underwear on the days that we don't want panty lines because who wants panty lines? So I found this absolute fabulous pair of panties. I got them from Amazon and I've already bought like 13 or 14 of them. I ordered maybe 10 of them in black. And then I ordered a three piece set that was beige, blush and black, I think. But look at these, they absolutely do not show panty lines. And they're very, very good quality. These have come through the wash several times. And I really like that they're high cut because it really does make your legs look longer and really nice. This comes in a ton of different colors. And if you, like me, would like to up your game a little bit and just take care of something before you even think about it, get rid of those panty lines, you might check these out. And if there are any spring trends for 2023 that you're particularly loving, if you could share that in the comment section below the video, I would love to hear the things that you love. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.